Hi friends, welcome to Mad Science. It's Miss Christina. So Valentine's Day is coming up, so I thought we could try a Valentine's Day themed experiment. So today we're going to try dissolving candy hearts in different liquids. You know what candy hearts are, right? They look kind of like this. They come in um, different boxes that are all about this size. There are lots of different brands that make them. I found these Sour Patch Kids ones, so I'm going to try these. But you can use any kind. Um, it doesn't have to be this brand. They're all pretty much made of the same ingredients. So these are the ones that are cute little hearts with some uh, Valentine's Day words on them. So in order to do our experiment, you just need one box of these because we don't need too many. You'll need four clear containers like this. And then you'll need four different kinds of liquid. That's it. I'm going to show you the ones that I'm using today, but you can try different ones at home. Um, whatever you have lying around should be fine. Just make sure you ask a grown up before you use it. So um, the first one you want to do is water because water is just kind of a basic uh, liquid, not too much going on in there. So I have some water in this container here and I'll move the camera down when, when it's time to show you. Um, I have hydrogen peroxide. It looks just like water, but in order to keep them straight, you can put the container of the original liquid behind it, um, or you can label it. Otherwise, some of these look very similar. You could even use uh, food coloring if you want to differentiate. Okay, then I have vegetable oil. So put that back here. And then I have another one that looks quite similar and that is vinegar. So I actually will probably have to move these a little closer together so I can get them all in frame. Um, and then here's the white vinegar that I'm using. So, out of these four liquids, which one do you think is going to dissolve the candy hearts better? Make your guesses now, and we'll see. So, I'm going to open up my box. And then I'm going to move my camera down a little so you can see the reactions happening. Okay, and then you're just going to put one heart into each of these glasses. So I'm going to try to do different colors than each one um, to help us see them better. Okay, so um, we've got water in here. So let's do, let's do a blue heart. Just pop that in and watch to see if anything happens. Then hydrogen peroxide, let's put a pink heart. Vegetable oil is yellow, so let's do orange. Maybe we can see it okay. And then in the vinegar, let's do, what color am I missing? Um, we can do green, but I don't have a green one here. Okay, a little green in there. So, do you see anything happening yet? Any observations to make? I do see some bubbles in some of them. Um, a little bit of a reaction happening. So right now, I'm seeing some bubbles coming up where we have the vinegar. But not too much else is going on. So, I wonder what other liquids do you think would work really well for this experiment? Anything you have, any ideas you have might be worth trying. I don't have too much happening right now. So, do you notice any color changes in the liquid? We'll just have to come back and see what happens after a while, see if there's a reaction. But right now I'm not seeing much. Sometimes it can take a while for things to dissolve. But on that note, let's talk a little bit about dissolving 
materials in liquids. So what we're actually testing here is called solubility. And that means how, you can, how well something dissolves inside of a liquid. And solubility depends on a lot of different factors, such as temperature and pressure. So if one of these liquids were to be really, really hot, do you think that would change how fast the candy heart would dissolve? Or if the water was really cold? It's possible. That's why for our experiment, we want to keep pretty much everything the same except for the liquids themselves. So everything here, um, they're all room temperature. So they're all, you know, we're not messing with the temperature of them um, because then that might change the results. Um, so solubility can also depend on something called polarity. And in this case, that means that like dissolves like. So materials will dissolve faster in a substance that has a similar chemical structure. So our candy hearts, do you know what these are made out of? They're made out of sugar mostly. They have a few other things in there, but it's mostly sugar. So what you'll find is the hearts are going to dissolve in whichever liquid is chemically the most similar to sugar. So the liquid the molecules are going to attract the molecules in the candy heart and basically pull them apart. And that's what's going to make it dissolve and turn it into oop, a solution. So which one of these do you think is the most similar to sugar? And which one do you think is the most different? I think that'll make a big difference on which one dissolves faster and which one dissolves the slowest or doesn't dissolve at all. So I think I'm going to let these sit for a while because I don't have too much happening right now. And I will come back to it a little bit later and I will give you an update. Um, but now would be a good time if you want to, again, take a guess. Um, I don't see too much happening here, so I can't really say. But I will check back in with you in a little bit. All right, my friends, it's been about 15 or 20 minutes since I put our candy hearts into the different containers of liquid. So before I show you what has happened in that amount of time, which one do you think dissolved the candy heart the best? Any guesses? Let me show you what happened. So if you look, some of the uh, liquids have turned uh, the color of their candy hearts, and that's a good indication that the candy heart is dissolving. So um, which one do you see has had the most amount of action? And actually something just happened while I was talking. <laughs> that would be this one, which is the vinegar. So this liquid is very green. Um, you can see mostly on the bottom, which is where the heart is. So that's where it's dissolving. But if you can see on the top, there are little kind of foamy looking bits of the candy heart that have broken off and floated up to the top. So that vinegar is doing a really good job of breaking the candy heart apart and dissolving it. And even um, the heart itself is starting to look white because all of that color is being pulled out of it. So that one has had the most amount of action, I think. But there's also quite a bit here in the hydrogen peroxide. Not to the same extent. Um, nothing has really broken off of this one, but you can see, I don't have an easy way to show, but you can see that the water has turned sort of a, a pinkish red color. Um, and there's a little bit of material on the top that has broken off, but not quite as much as the vinegar. That one's really doing a good job at dissolving it. And then the water has had a little bit of um, dissolving here. You can see, see that stuff that's like floating around? That's, some of it is bubbles from the chemical reaction that's happening. And then some of it is um, little bits of the candy heart that are dissolving. And then this one, our vegetable oil, it's only yellow because that's the color of the vegetable oil. Really nothing has happened to that candy heart. So if you remember when I was talking about polarity, if you think about it, the vinegar, water, and hydrogen peroxide are all kind of similar 
And the vegetable oil is the one that stands out that's quite different. It's a thicker substance. So my guess is that these three are chemically more similar to sugar. And that's why it's doing such a good job of breaking the candy heart up. And then the vegetable oil is different. It's not similar at all. And <clears throat> You know, when you put uh, water and oil together, they don't mix unless you like shake it up really well. Um, that's that's because water and oil are chemically very different. They have a different density. They have a different makeup. Um, but these three are similar. So let me know if you tried this and if you tried different liquids and maybe had better luck with one or um, maybe something cool happened while it was dissolving or maybe it did it really fast. Like I said, this took about 15 to 20 minutes, um, but it's still pretty cool. So I hope you enjoy trying this experiment yourself and happy Valentine's Day.